Hello, you guys. Welcome to my channel, Jesus Wants You. I'm the watchman on the wall, Nikki Pratt. Uh, listen, we are almost done with the uh, computer and the printer. We had a little few kinks and uh, things uh, before us in um, our trying to fix the problems. I'm trying to adjust and fix the problems of recording on this little tablet and you guys struggling to hear. So just bear with me. There's some growing pains, but um, we should hopefully have it up and going next week. So bear with me. Uh, today, I need to bring this word of uh, warning. It's uh, to the church's southern U.S needing to repent needing to repent the lord is good he's merciful he's kindful uh the lord said in his word that it is his will that no man should perish you guys i need you to gather together pray for the people uh in the united states as a whole but also pray for the southern uh states and the and uh the churches with that said I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get into prayer, get into the word, and uh, I'm going to give you guys the scriptures, okay? Let's bow our heads for prayer. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord, for your mercies, Lord, your manifold mercies. Father, we thank you for your grace. Father, Lord God, we know that you will not always strive with man, but Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that your arm is stretched out to the people, oh God. Lord, in extending a, a word, oh God, of mercy, Lord, pleading with the people and for them to repent. Father, Lord God, I bind every territorial spirit, Lord God, that will be in the regions of the, these southern states, Lord God, that will try to hinder this word from going for, forward. Lord, I bind it and rebuke it. I come against every governing principality, every spiritual wickedness in high places. Lord, I bind, Lord God, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, the second uh, uh the, the demonic spirits and activities of the second heavens, I bind it and rebuke it in Jesus' name. I send forth the blood of Jesus against all coats of wickedness in the name of Jesus. I decree and declare, Lord God, nothing shall come against this upload. Nothing shall come against this word. Oh, God, in Jesus' name, I pray that the people that will hear this word, Lord God, will, will receive it, Lord God, with gladness and will repent. For your word says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves, seek my faith, turn from their wicked ways, Lord, you will heal their land. You will hear them and heal their land. Father, Lord, I just pray, Lord God, that the people that would also hear, Lord God, will share the video and it would get into the right hands of the people that need to repent. Father, Lord God, we thank you for your glory. We give you honor and praise in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Okay. All right. So, um, if you have your Bibles, turn it to Jeremiah chapter 26. Jeremiah chapter 26. Uh, before I read um, the word and then I will move into this chapter, Jeremiah chapter 26, I noticed um, the hurricane in that they have projected that kind of, they have like the computer modules going over um, Louisiana. And like, it, it when you look at it, it looks like the number nine. And I was like, wow, that is something else. But, you know, we just, we want to thank the Lord for his mercy because he is still, even in this message, it, it's still a plea to turn and repent. God is good. God is merciful. Okay, so this is a warning to the churches of the southern states, to all churches of the southern U.S. region. I see all the evil of your doings in your churches. Nothing you do goes unnoticed or unpunished. I am the God of all creations. I look high and look low. The sins of my people have defiled my sanctuaries. Therefore, you must repent of your sins. You have brought evil upon yourselves. Do not be stout-hearted. Repent now, I say, and turn 
from your sins, lest I bring such disaster upon you. Turn from your sins so that you can be saved in these coming days. Turn now, for I will spare you in the day. I visit your city with calamity. Okay? Now here is the word, the scriptures that I was given. It's coming from Jeremiah chapter 26. If you have your Bibles, please turn there. Jeremiah chapter 26. I encourage you guys to read the whole chapter. But I'm going to read Jeremiah chapter 26 verses 1 through 6. And then uh, verses 12 through um, uh, 13. Okay. It says, in the beginning of the reign of Jehoiakim, no, 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 verse 2, verse uh, 2 through 6, sorry. Thus said the Lord, stand in the courts of the Lord's house and speak unto all the cities of Judah, which come to worship in the Lord's house. All the words that I command thee to speak unto them diminish not a word. If so, be they will hearken, and hearken means to listen, and turn every man from his evil way, that I may repent me of the evil, which I purpose to do unto them because of the evil of their doings. And in my Bible, it has, uh, in italicies, relent of the calamity. Wow. Verse 4, and thou shalt say unto them, thus said the Lord, if ye will not hearken to me to walk in my law, which I have set before you, to hearken to the words of my servants, the prophets, whom I sent unto you, both rising early and sending them, but ye have not hearkened, you have not listened, okay? Verse 6, then will I make this house like Shiloh and will make this city a curse to all the nations of the earth, meaning everybody going to know that he is the Lord, okay? Verse 12 through 13, then spake Jeremiah unto all the princes and to all the people, saying, the Lord sent me to prophesy against this house and against this city all the words that ye have heard. Therefore, now amend your ways and your doings and obey the voice of the Lord your God, and the Lord will repent him of the evil that he hath pronounced against you. And when you read the whole chapter, you would see that once Jeremiah brought the word to the people, letting them know that the Lord says, repent. If you will repent, that he will repent of uh, the evil that he pronounced against them. Uh, but, you know, they wanted to have Jeremiah killed, saying that he had pronounced evil against the city. And just like, you know, what was said in the word, they brought the evil upon themselves. They brought the evil upon themselves. But this is a picture um this is a picture of the Lord once again extending his mercy. And I'm hoping to pray. I, I watched uh, the video that I did um, just the other day uh, about the hurricanes. And um, I want to thank you guys for sharing that video because when I looked, I'm like, oh, my goodness, that video has 1.100 uh, 100 and something views. And that's to, to you guys' help of getting that video out. It really needs to get out. Um, this tropical storm, I think they're saying it's a tropical storm now, and it's supposed to hit um, New Orleans sometime tomorrow. So you guys do the same exact thing that you did with this last video I just did. So this is a warning, once again, going out to the churches, um, Warning, you know what your evil is. You know what it is you do. Uh, as the word says, go to your knees, humble yourselves, repent. Uh, you guys, this is the time that we need to draw close to the Lord 
and seek his face as the word says and just ask for forgiveness of our sins. Nobody is perfect, but in all, if you are a believer, just as the word says, we should walk in his laws. Walk the way of a believer. If you are a believer, walk in the statutes and the morals of what the, the Lord has called us to do. Okay? Um, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Um, I'm sorry, you guys. I'm having some problems with my eyes. I use some type of product, and it ugh, it had my eyes kind of watering. So if I look a little tired or sleepy, I'm really not. It's whatever this stuff was I put on my eyes. So anyway, um, you guys share the video. Uh, make sure you stay tuned to the upcoming videos and um, stay prayed up. I love you guys. See you next video. Thanks.